Hey everybody, it's Cody Luz. Today I'm going to show you how to get music from your iPod into your iTunes. Uh, normally you can't do this. Um, usually you can only take music from your iPod or um, from iTunes and put them on your iPod. Before we start anything, this is the music from my iPod. Okay. I have nothing in my library, so let me go ahead and close that. Now before you do anything, you want to type in folder options, click the first one, click view, and make sure you click show hidden files, folders, and drives. I've already done that, so I'm just going to close out of it. You would click OK. You know what? I'll click OK. Um, you also want to right click, uh, make a new folder, and we're just going to call this one music. You want to go hit your start menu, go to computer. You're going to find your iPod. Mine says Cody's iPod. Now, because you just clicked uh, show your hidden files, you you can now see iPod control. If you redo that and you don't click uh, show hidden files, you won't be able to see that. And that's Apple's security way of making sure that you don't take songs from an, iP uh, an iPod or from iTunes to put them on, or uh, from iPod put them on iTunes, I said it right the first time. iPod control, music. Now, inside of each one of these folders is a track, or multiple tracks. Now this is perfectly normal for these letters to be scrambled about and not have any artist information, song title, anything like that, because it's just the, uh, the MP3 format. So, that's perfectly fine and you have nothing to worry about. Once you import them into iTunes, they're going to straighten themselves out. So, you want to shift click, take everything over, and this is depending on how much music you have, this will take a while. Um, mine says 548 megabytes, so I'm going to pause this video uh, until it's almost done, and then we'll continue from there. Uh, wait, there it is. All right. Okay, it's almost done. I had the video paused. Okay, you can close out of this now. Open up music, and now you have all these transparent folders. So same thing, you want to shift-click, right-click, properties, take away hidden, hit apply. Don't worry about this, just click OK, and then click OK, and now your folders are viewable. What you want to do is, and I'll still show you that um, I still don't have any music in there. So now that you, you can close out of this. Yep. Go to your start menu, music, iTunes, iTunes media, automatically add to iTunes. Now you'll notice that it's an empty folder or here you'll see music. It um, depends. You'll see automatically add or uh, music. Now it says the folder is empty. So what you want to do, click music, shift, click, drag everything down. Okay. Now you, if you look at your destination folders, iTunes, iTunes media, automatically add to iTunes. It really doesn't matter what your destination folder is as long as you can freely import it into iTunes. Now, since it automatically adds it to it, I already have all my music in and a lot of people don't. Uh, if you think it is just the file, then let's just go to Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything is here. Uh, all the files and everything. And if you have, uh, like a different iPod or something that you want the music into your, uh, iTunes, you don't have to delete anything. Just go back to music, iTunes, iTunes media. See, now we have music, um, but go ahead and click automatically add. And there will be nothing in here because this music is already transferred into uh, to iTunes. 
but take whatever else music you have from your other iPods and uh, put them into here and as you put them in it's automatically going to bring them into iTunes and since this folder is empty you can go ahead and drag it into the recycling bin so now you've taken empty an empty iTunes account and put songs from an iPod or multiple iPods into iTunes and now you can um, put them on an iPhone iPod touch any kind of iPod so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope now you know something that you didn't before